Hello, good evening, everyone. How are you tonight? Hello, teacher. Good night. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. Okay. Claudia Areta is fine. Yes. And, okay, how was your day, Claudia? Yeah, relax, teacher. <laughs> ah, you have a relaxing day. Excellent. So you rest a little bit. And, uh -huh. Hello, Sobeida. Good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hey, how are you tonight? I am fine. Maybe a little tired. Tired. Okay. It was, a, it was a busy day? Yes. The week. The week. The week is very hard in the work. Oh, okay. Your week has been very hard in your work. Okay. I'm excellent. Thank you. Thank you for asking me. Okay. Hello. Hello, Ana Maria. Hello, Juliana. Hello, Elena and Elias. Hello, teacher. Hello. Welcome to the class. Teacher. Yes. Dijo a Nancy que no se iba a conectar porque sentía malita. Ah, okay. Let me take notes. Ana Yancy. She is sick tonight. I'm so sorry for her. I hope she get well soon. So thank you, Elias. Thank you for the information. Hello, Catherine. Welcome to the class. Catherine, welcome to the class. Okay, let me ask a question. Do you have any problem, any question about the platform exercises? Is everything okay? Yes, no problem. No problem at all. No problem. No problem. Okay, very good. So are you working in section number two or section number three? In which section are you working on? Four. Three. Four, teacher. Four. Four. Okay, and what about the midterm? Ya tomaron el examen? Los que van en la sección número one. Yes. No, teacher. No yet, okay, excellent. So we still have time, but we need to continue working on those exercises. And remember that if you have a question, if you have a problem, you can write on the WhatsApp group and we are going to help you with your problem. So if you don't have any question, let's start with tonight class, right? Uh, do you remember yesterday topic? What did we study yesterday? Giving advisors. Giving advice. Excellent. We learn how to give advice using what type of sentence? Which type of sentences were we using yesterday? Imperative sentence. sentence. Okay, excellent. Imperative, Imperative sentences. sentences. We studied yesterday. Imperative sentence. And can you give me an example? Who wants to give me an example of affirmative imperative sentence or a positive, positive affirmative sentence? I have a headache. Okay, that is talking about illnesses, right? I have a headache. And now Elias say I have a headache. Some recommendation mm. or advices? The doctor? Visit sí. the doctor, excellent. Sí. Visit the doctor. Take a panadol. Take an aspirin, take a panadol pill. Okay, excellent. So what about negative imperative sentences? What about negative imperative? Don't watch TV. Don't watch TV, Don't watch TV. okay. Any other advice? Cell phone. Oh, don't use your cell phone. Don't use your cell phone. Excellent. So I can see that you remember yesterday's topic. 
Tonight we are going to start section number three and we are going to talk about preposition of place. So do you know some preposition of place? Uh, we are going to use the preposition of place to locate, to locate places para localizar lugares. Let's see, for example, where is the park in your neighborhood? Where is the park? ¿Dónde está el parque en su vecindario? No in hay front park. of yes. in front of my house. Oh, the park is in front of my house. Very good. So which other places are there in your neighborhood? Which other places are there in your neighborhood? ¿Qué otros lugares hay en su vecindario aparte del park? Supermarket. Supermarket. Any other place? City hall. Farmers. The city hall. Which pharmacy. other one? Pharmacy. Oh, pharmacy. ¿Cómo se dice? Church. Church. Gas station. Gas station. Car wash. Car wash. Any other place? Spa. Is it a spa near to your house? Interesting. Oh, oh, hospital. Ah, the hospital. Which other places do you remember? Park. ¿Cómo se dice cancha de fútbol, teacher? Ah, soccer field. Soccer. There is a soccer field. There is gym. a soccer. Oh, there gas is a gym. Gas station. Gas station. Excellent. So tonight we're going to learn some other places that there are near to our neighborhood or in our cities. So let's start with tonight's topic. Tonight we're going to study the preposition of place. Let me hide this in here. And here we go. Preposition of place. So this is our sixth class. And welcome everyone to this class in preposition of place. We are going to learn the end. But before to learn the preposition of place, let's learn some places and what can we do in these different places. Let's see this picture, the first picture. Which place do you think it is? A, a restaurant. Okay, excellent. It is a restaurant. So what can we do in a restaurant? What can we do? So let's... Ah, the next one is a gas station. Excellent. The next picture is a gas station. Now, what can we do in a restaurant? Eh, you can buy food. You can buy food there. Also, you can buy drinks. You can buy desserts. You can buy wine. You can buy wine. Excellent. And you can celebrate a birthday party there, and Mother's Day, Father's Day. So you can spend time with your friends in a restaurant too. So you can do many things in a restaurant. And what about a gas station? What can we do in a gas station? And you say, no idea, so let me help you. You can buy you gas. You can buy. Gasoline. You can buy food. You can buy food too. Okay. You can buy gasoline. You can buy drinks. Or gasoline. Like energy drinks, soda, coffee. You can you buy can... flowers. Flowers. Flowers in the no, garage. En alguna ven en alguna ven en flores. <laughs> ah, okay. Flowers in a gas station. Also, you can buy some snacks. Right? You can buy some snacks and some chocolate, some churritos, and you can buy fast food too, like nachos, hot dog, hamburger, in some places, pizza too. Teacher. So yes? Um, ¿Cómo se diría eh, usar el sanitario también? Oh, you can use the restaurant or bathroom. Okay. Okay, you can do that in a gas station too. Excellent. So thank you very much. Let's see the other places. 
So remember this, in a restaurant, you can buy food, you can buy drinks, you can buy dessert, you can buy gasoline in a gas station. In a gas station, you can buy gasoline, you can buy drinks, you can buy some snacks, and you can buy fast food. Let's see which places do you think are these? The first one. It is a supermarket. Ah, oh, this is a supermarket. The second picture is a supermarket. Supermarket, yes, you're right. You can buy orange. Oh, you can buy orange uh, fruits, right? In general, you can buy Fruit. fruits, fruits there. Excellent. But let's start with the first one. I'm going to help you because it's a little bit difficult to guess. So post office. Ah, post office. Post office. Uh, you can send letters, you can send package, and also you can buy some stamps there. So you can send letter, you can send package, you can buy stamps in, in the post office. Now in the supermarket, you can buy fruit, as Julian said. Any other thing? You can buy meat. You can buy meat. Chicken, sausage, pepperoni. You can buy, buy milk. You can buy pay. You can buy cereal. Okay, you excellent. You can buy snack, buy oil, sugar. Okay. Sugar, salt. excellent. So we can buy food, in general, food, right? Uh, salt, sugar, rice, beans, uh, oil fruit, vegetables, you can pay bills too. You can pay bills. Do you know what is the meaning of bills? Recibos. Yes, you're right. Cuentas on the recibos. So you can pay them in a supermarket. And you can buy toys too. And you can buy electronics like irons, blenders, a hairdresser, Hair dryer, sorry, hair dryer, secadora para el cabello, and many other electronics like headphones, earphones, even cell phones. You can buy cell phones in the supermarket. So you can do this in these places. Post office, you can send letters, you can send package, you can buy stamps. Supermarket, you can buy food, you can pay bills, you can buy toys, you can buy electronics there. So I look at the next one. The next one is ah, what's this place? Bank. It's a bank. What can we do in a bank? You can buy. You can pay my car. Oh, you can pay the car. Okay. Cobrar remesa, ¿cómo se diría? Okay, you can get remittances. Remittances. So let okay. me help you. Uh, open an account. Open an account. Abrir una cuenta de ahorros. Open an account. And the next one, apply for a credit card. Aplicar por una tarjeta de. Credito. Apply for a credit card. May a okay. May a withdrawal. Hacer un retiro. Okay. You can also. Make loans. Make loans, right? Excellent. That is that is the word loans. Make loans. Hacer préstamos. Eh, receive remittances. This is uh, recibir remesas. Receive remittances. Pay bills too. As the bills of your card, so you can pay them on the bank. Pay bills. Make a deposit. May a deposit, depositar dinero. Cash a check. What is the meaning of this phrase? Cash a check. Efectivo o cheque. Wow. Hacer un cheque efectivo. Ir a cobrar un cheque. That is cash a check. Let's see the next one. Deposit a check. Instead of getting cash, you can deposit a check. En lugar de cobrarlo, usted lo puede depositar en your account. ¿Y para enviar el dinero, teacher? Excuse me. ¿Cómo se diría enviar dinero? 
Send money. Send money. Send money. Send money. Thank you. Or send remittances. And the remittances. Send remittances. Let me see. Let's see, this is a bank. So in a bank, you can open an account, you can make a deposit, make a withdrawal, deposit a check, receive remittances, cash a check, apply for a credit card, and pay bill, pay bills. And what about in a drugstore? What can we do in a drugstore? You can buy medicine. You can buy medicine, excellent. You can pay bills. You can pay, you can pay bills too. You can buy muscle cream. You can buy drinks. You can buy drinks too. Yes, you can buy like soda, energy drinks, energetic drinks, uh, buy medicine. You say that before, buy medicine, buy vitamins. Buy some vitamins for you, for your body. Buy balance for your cell phone. Comprar oh, get an injection. Yes, you can do that too. Pay bills. Buy cup syrup. Buy cup syrup. Eh, buy pills. Comprar algunas pastillas and also buy a drops. So you can do this in these different places. Is it a gas station near to your house? Is it a gas station near to your house? Are you in the gasolinera cerca de su casa? Yes, Carla say yes. 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 Okay, is it a bank near to your house? No, 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 yes, 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 it's new. Okay, there is one. Okay, perfect. Um, let's see what about a drugstore. Is it a drugstore near, near to your house? Yes, 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 it is. Okay, excellent. What about um, what was the other place? Post office? Is it a post office near to your house? No. 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 Oh. no. What about a restaurant? Is it a restaurant near to your house? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes it yes. is one. Okay. La pupusería de la niña María. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There are many pupuserías, right? In our neighborhood. At least in my neighborhood, there is one, two, three, four. There are four pupuserias near to my house. So I can taste different uh, flavor in pupusas. There are many pupuserias. So look at the next one. The next one is, uh, what is the name of this place? Some people love to go up to this place. And it is the department store, department store. So you can buy perfumes there. You can buy appliances, I'm sorry, appliances, appliances and electronics, buy clothes, you can buy clothes. Buy shoes. Buy shoes, excellent. You can buy shoes there. You can buy cosmetics too, cosmetics. And buy makeup, maquillaje. So you can find many things in a department store. You can buy perfumes, Uy. buy makeup, cosmetics, appliances. You can buy jewelry, jewelry, oh yes. Ah, uh, jewelry. We can buy jewelry too. Carteras. Okay, purse. You can buy some purse there too. So jeans, jackets, earrings, necklace, you can Blazer. find them. Blazer too, you can find them in the department store. 
So it's a very nice place to visit. Do you like to go to a department store? Yes. Yes. Yes, of course you say. Yes, I like it's near. Oh, you have one near to you. Okay, excellent. I just want to go to the second hand shopping and to pick a lot of clothes by two, two quarters of dollars. <laughs> there are here other city places that we need to know in library, for example, what is the meaning of library? Do you know the meaning of this word? Library, what is a library? Librería. Librería. Mm -mm. Biblioteca. You aren't right. Yes, biblioteca. That is the right answer. Library means biblioteca in Spanish. Church. Who knows the meaning of church? Iglesia. Iglesia, okay. Do you go to the church? Yes. Cuando me, cuando yes. me acuerdo, yes. teacher. Yes. <laughs> Okay, church. Uh, what about hospital? Hospital. Hospital. Ah, oh, do you go to the hospital? Yes, teacher. Cuando quiero en capacidad. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, park. 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 Bus station. Estación de bus. Parada de buses. Okay, estación de bus. In this case, bus stop. Teacher. Es parada de buses. Bus eso, no es una, es, eso no es una terminal. Yes. No una parada. Ah, también. No, bus station es la estación de buses, la terminal. Eh, ah, bus okay. stop, bus stop es la parada de buses. Bus stop. Ah, thank you. Y museum. Museo. Do you like Museo. to go to the museum? Yes. 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 Oh, let's see. Which museum do you know in El Salvador? Marte. Sí, es el Team Marine. Team Marine. Eh, it doesn't exist anymore, right? The Team Marine Hawking. disappeared. Yes, okay. eh, let's see, police station. Police station. La estación de policía. Okay. Do you, do you like to go to the police station? No, right? No. <laughs> no. And what about firefighter station? Is it station de bomberos. Bomberos. Ah, okay. Is it one near to your house? Firefighter station? And no. No, it's no. fear. No. no, no, it isn't. What about a cinema or a movie theater? Cinema or movie yeah. theater? El cine. cine. Yes, cine. el cine. Okay. Do you like the cinema? Do you like yes. to go to the cinema? Yes, I like. Yes, I like. Yes, I like. Ah, okay. La próxima me invita. City Hall. Alcaldía. What's the meaning of City Hall? Alcaldía. Alcaldía. Alcaldía Ayuntamiento. Yes, you're right. Excellent. So, Jean, what about Jean? Ignacio. 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 Ok, donde vamos a poner fuertes, bueno, grandotes, Jim. Eh, school. School. Escuela. High school. Bachillerato. High school es en la escuela secundaria, de high school. En university or college. Universidad. 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 En eh, mall. Centro comercial. Sí. And finally, we have an airport. Airport. Aeropuerto. El aeropuerto. Muy bien. So we have library, church, hospital, park, bus station, museum, police station, fire fighter station, cinema, city hall, gym, school, high school, university or college, mall, and airport. So, which of this one is your favorite place? What is your favorite place? Gym. Gym. My favorite place, cinema. Oh, cinema. the cinema. Gym. The cinema. Gym. What about the mall? Don't you like the mall? Yes. Yes, I like. Ah, okay, excellent. So, um, 
when and the police station you say you don't like the police station no i don't like i don't like <laughs> okay I don't like. i don't like that okay let's go in the next conversation it's across from the park a hey, look at this this man is asking for information he's looking for a place so you are going to tell me yeah. which place is he looking for at the end of reading this and it says excuse me can you help me is there a public restaurant around here a public restaurant mm, i'm sorry i don't think so oh no my son needs a restaurant well there's a restaurant in the department store on main street where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. So what is he looking for? What is he looking for? ¿Qué está buscando él? What is he looking for? A public restaurant. Restaurant. He is looking for a restaurant. Who needs the restaurant? The man or his son? Who needs Some. the restaurant? His son. His son. What is that restaurant? Baño. 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 Oh, yes. That is what is a restaurant. Where? Where? According to the conversation, <laughs> where is a restaurant? On the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. Okay, excellent. What is the name of the place? Department store. It's a department store. On Main. On Main. Okay, excellent. So it says, excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restaurant around here? A new vocabulary in that phrase? New vocabulary in this phrase? No. No? no. Okay. A uh, public restroom, mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. New vocabulary in this? No. no. Teacher, I don't think so. Sería como no lo sé. I don't think so. Es como no creo. Mm. I'm sorry, I don't think so. Lo siento, creo que no. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. In a new vocabulary, what's the meaning of the word need? Necesita. Necesitar. Necesitar, yes, you're right. Corner, well, teacher. Can you please repeat? It's, it's on the corner. Oh, it's on the corner. Thank you. Esquina. Yes, so well, there's a restroom in the department Esquina. store on Main Street. Bueno, hay un baño en la tienda, ¿verdad? En la calle principal, on Main Street. Where on Main Street? ¿Dónde en la calle principal? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Está en la esquina de la calle principal y la primera avenida. On the corner of May and First, en la esquina de la calle principal y la primera avenida. Yes, it's across from the park. Sí, está cruzando el parque. You can miss it. You can't miss it. No te puedes perder. Thanks a lot. Muchas gracias. So that is this conversation. So here are some preposition of place. For example, which one? Which one, for example? Preposition of place in this conversation. Um, is there? And this is one on the corner um, of, uh -huh. on the corner of also on, on, on the corner of, and also across from. Hmm. We are going to see in the next, in the next slide, but first I need two volunteers. Who wants to practice this small conversation? Who wants to practice tonight? Sure. Can you please say your name? Cynthia. 
Okay, Cynthia and Ana. Cynthia and Ana. Okay, Cynthia, you can start, please. And then Ana. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restaurant around here? A public restaurant? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restaurant. Well, there's, there's a restaurant in the report department, department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of May and First Avenue. On the corner of May of First Yes, it's across from the park. You can meet it. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much, Cynthia and Ana. You did an excellent job. So thank you. So Avenue, First Avenue. It's on the corner of May and First, First Avenue. So let's go with the next thing. Here are the T five, five preposition of place. The first one is on. The first one is on. The second one is on the corner of. The next one is across from, next to, in between. So on means sobre. On the corner of, en la esquina, en la esquina de. Across from, cruzando, en frente de, across from. Next to, next to es a la par, in between, es en medio, justo en medio, en medio de. Look at this, the department store is on Main Street. La tienda departamental está... Sobre la calle principal, sobre de, the department store is on Main Street. It, on the corner of May and First, está en la esquina de la calle principal en the First Avenue. It, across from the park, está cruzando el parque, across from, it, next to the bank. It, next to the bank, está a la par del banco. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. The bank, el banco está en medio de la tienda departamental y el restaurante. The bank between the department store and the restaurant. So, en medio de. Any volunteer to read this example, please? Teacher, solo tengo duda. Across from es dentro. No, okay. cruzando, cruzando. Ah, cruzando. Ok, thank you. It is across from, across from the park, cruzando la, la, el parque, la calle del parque. Any other question? Any volunteer to read the example, please? Hello. Mi teacher, mi teacher. Thank you, Glenda. The department store in on May Street is on the corner of May and First. is across from the park. It's, it's next to the bank. The next is between the department store and the restaurant. Thank you very much. Thank you. So let's take a look of the next. Let's take a look of the next map. So which places can you identify in this map? Can you tell me, please? City, station, bank, drugstore, movie theater, supermarket, uh, hospital, park, post office, post office. Okay, excellent. There is a park. There is uh, movie a movie theater. There is a movie theater. Shoe store. There is a shoe store. ¿Cómo se dice parqueo, dicho? Parking lot. There is parking. a parking lot. What is it? 
what is the name of this place? Gas station. Ah, oh, there is a gas station in this one. Post office. In this office. one. Bookstore. Library. Library. I know it's a bookstore. It's a bookstore. Coffee shop. It's a bookstore, yes. Yes. Oh, it's a coffee shop too. It's a coffee shop. And the name of the street. We have Center Street, Main Street, Park Street, First Avenue, and Second Avenue. And is it a restaurant? Is it a restaurant in this city map? Can you see a restaurant? Yes. Maria's restaurant. Okay, excellent. So let me ask you the next question. Where's um, the bank? Where's the city bank? The city bank is next, next to, next to Maria's restaurant. Maria's restaurant. It's between department store and Maria restaurant. Okay, excellent. So I heard three different good sentences. The first one is, the city van is on Main Street. Yes, you are right. It's on Main Street. Está sobre la calle principal. Then you say, city van is next to Maria's restaurant. You are right too. It's next to Estela Park. And also you say, city van is between Love department store in Maria's restaurant. Also is a good answer. So nice. Let's see the next. Uh, where's the park? Where's the park? In front of the department store. Yes, the park is in front of the department store. Any other preposition of play that we can use? On Main Street? It's Main. on Main Street. Yes, it's on Main Street. To be a little bit more specific, it's on the corner of... Um, the corner of... Main Street and First Fear Avenue. Avenue. Okay, Street. excellent. Uh, where is Davis Drugstore? Where is David Drugstore? Second next Avenue. To, Davis Drugstore is on Second Avenue. On Davis Drugstore is next to the supermarket. Very good. Where is the gas station? Where's the gas station? Next to the corner of the Next on Center Street. Center. Uh -huh. Okay, excellent. It's on the corner of, of Center Street and First Avenue. And also you can say it's across from the hospital. It's across Doctor from hospital. the hospital. Doctor Doctor hospital. It's across from. So can you please tell me where is Al's coffee shop? The corner on Main Street, Second Avenue. Okay, it's corner of Second Avenue. Okay, we can't, we can't say it's on the corner of, because in the corner of is favorite shoes. So in the corner of, of Second Avenue and Main Street is favorite shoes. You say it's across from the supermarket. Mm -mm. It isn't across from the supermarket. Across from the supermarket is favorite shoes. So you say it's True. on Second Avenue. Yes, you are right. It's on Second Avenue. Next to Ah, you can say it's next to, next to what? Next to. Next to favorite shop. Ne favorite. Next to favorite shops. Favorite shoes, favorite shoes. Ah, yeah, favorite shoes. Favorite shoes. And also you can say it's across from the? 
Movie theater. It's across, across from the movie theater. The movie theater. Excellent. Next question. What is the post office? What is the post office? On Center Street. Center Street. Second Avenue. Second Avenue. Okay. You can say it on Bet Center Street. Between Doctor Hospital oh, and Street. Bookstore. Um, we can't use that preposition because there is a strip in between them. It is a strip here, so we cannot say between. We can use across from. Across from the bookstore. Or you can say it's next to Doctor Hospital. Next or you can, hospital. you can say it's on the corner of Center Strip and Second Avenue. 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 So let's see how to make question to ask for the location of places. So we use the word where. That means what is the meaning of where? Donde. 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 Excellent. So where is the U.S. Post Office? Where is the U.S. Post Office? And you say it on the corner of Center Street, Second Avenue. It's across from the bookstore. It's next to Doctor Hospital. Let's see the next question. Where is the department store? Where is the department store? The department store is next to City Bay Street on the corner. Next to City Bank. On the Avenue in Main Street. Okay, excellent. So we can say it's next to the City Bank. It's on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. And also it's across from the park. It's across from the park. Let's see the next question. Where is the gas station? We can see the gas station here. The gas station. First Avenue. And next to doctor's hospital. Next to okay, listen. It isn't next to. It isn't next to. It is across from. Across from. Across. Across from the doctor hospital. Center, oh, no, so Center Street doctor hospital from the from the gas station. On no cross from the cross station. Yes, it's across from Doctor Hospital. It's across from the gas station, or you can say on the corner of the gas station is on the corner of Century Street and First Avenue. Let's see the next question. The next question is for let me choose someone. Uh, Claudia, for Claudia, can you help me with the next question? Where is the restaurant? Where is the restaurant? The restaurant is in the corner, Second Avenue. And? Uh, Main Street. Okay, excellent. It's on the corner of Main Street and Second Avenue. Thank you very much. The next question is for, let me choose someone. Yvonne, the next question is for Yvonne. So where is the city bank? Where is the city bank, Yvonne? Where's the city bank? The city bank um, from um, movie, movie theater. Excellent, thank you. The city bank is across from the movie theater. Uh, any other preposition that we can use? Uh, Main Street and Second Avenue, uh, between uh, the department store, between Mary Restaurant. Mary Restaurant. Mm. Okay, let's see. We can say uh, it's on Main Street. It's next to Maria's restaurant. Or it's between the department store and Maria's yeah. restaurant. 
So those are the options. Let's see, Elias, the next question is for Elias. Where is the bookstore? Elias, where is the bookstore? Um, center, cent, center, center strip. Strip. Okay, excellent. The bookstore is on. The bookstore is on Center Strip. Center Strip. Está sobre la calle central, Center Strip. We can also say it is across from the post office. Oh, it, is, it is on the corner of Century Street and Second Avenue. Avenue. Those, are, those are the possible answers. The next is, where is the shoe store? The next question is for, let's see, Carla Vanessa, can you help me please? Where is the shoe, shoe store? Shoe is on Second Avenue. Excellent, thank you. It's on Second Avenue. It's across from movie theater. Excellent, it's across from the movie theater, yes. There is another one that we can use. A la par de... Está a la par... Ah, de... Ay, es que no veo. Al's Coffee Shop? Yes, it's next to Al's Coffee Shop. Next, good. next Al's Coffee Shop. Where's the cinema? The next question is for, let's see. Cynthia, can you help me please? Where is the coffee shop? Oh, sorry, the cinema. Where is the cinema? Or the movie theater? Is across the coffee shop. It's across it, from the it's coffee shop. The, the coffee shop. Okay, excellent. So you can say it's in front of Maria's restaurant. It's on Main Street. It's across from Al's coffee shop. You can use those. And the last one, where is the drugstore? Where's the drugstore? Any volunteers to help me with the last question? Where's the drugstore? In Second Avenue in Next. Center Next. Street. Next to the supermarket. Next to supermarket. Okay, excellent, thank you. So Davis Drugstore is next to the supermarket. Davis Drugstore is on Second Avenue. Oh, Davis Drugstore is on the corner of Center Street and Second Avenue. Avenue. So, do you have any question about how to use the preposition of time? Of time, sorry, of place. Preposition of place. On, on the corner of, across from, next to, in between. No questions? On the corner of is como. Eh, cruzando la esquina. En la esquina de. Justo en la esquina. So, cuando utilizamos on the corner of, usted tiene que mencionar las dos calles que forman la esquina. Let's see, for example, in this case, the bookstore. So, las dos calles que forman esta esquina son Center Strip and Second Avenue. So, you say, the bookstore on the, on is... The, on the corner of... Center Street and Second Avenue. Yes, that is the right answer. The bookstore is on the corner of Center Street and Second Avenue. Okay. Any other question? No question. No. no. Glenda, do you have a question? Tell me, this is no the moment. No question, teacher. Oh, no question. Everything is clear. Okay, thank you very much. So let's see, we're going to have a small conversation practice. You are going to say some places that are near to your neighborhood. And also you can say the location right, of these places using preposition of place. 
Yes, neighborhood teacher. Hello. Neighborhood. ¿Qué? Neighborhood, eh, su vecindario. ¿Qué lugares de los que vimos el día de hoy hay en su vecindario? You have to share with your classmate. You say, there is, there is a church, there is a bank, there is a soccer field, there is a graveyard, hay un cementerio donde asustan, there is a graveyard, uh, there is a um, supermarket, there is a restaurant, there is a gas station. So you have to share with your classmate the places that are near or close to your neighborhood. And you can use the preposition of place to say, it, right? For example, the park is uh, across from the church. The restaurant is next to the city mall or something like that. Oh, here is another one, behind. Do you know the meaning of this preposition of place? Behind? Atrás. Atrás. Atrás de, right? And behind. Atrás de. That is the meaning. So it is clear what you are going to do. So take, to, take one minute to write at least five places that are close to your neighborhood. At least five. So you can say church, park, supermarket, drugstore, airport. And you are going to share with your classmate. Uh, here is another vocabulary. A cemetery or graveyard. It means cementerio. Funeral chapel, capilla funeraria. Hay una de estas en su vecindario? No. Not really. A neighborhood passage, el pasaje de la colonia. And also the cardinal points. North, south, west, east. Northwest, Northeast, Southwest, and Southeast. So, West is el oeste o el oriente. East, este o el poniente. North, el norte. South, el sur. Y de ahí se deriva en este. ¿verdad? Northeast sería nor, noreste. ¿verdad? Northwest, nororiente. Nororiente, pero noroeste. Y en the same southeast and southwest. Sureste o sur oeste. Tomorrow we are going to use them. Tomorrow we are going to use the cardinal points in the class. So are you ready to practice with your classmate? Are you ready to practice with your classmate? Yes. Ya tienen los lugares que hay en su vecindario o cerca de su vecindario para compartir con sus compañeros. Yes. Yes. Yes, you are ready. So we're going to work in a small group. Let me see. You are going to have five minutes. Okay. Here we go. Yes. ¿Cómo se dice ladrillera? Y ladrillera. Give me a second and I'm going to help you. Who has the question? Can you please tell me your name? Okay. Oh, Yvonne. Okay, I'm going to enter to your small group and I'm going to tell you the answer. Cintia, Claudia, Brenda, ¿recibieron la invitación para unirse a los grupos con sus compañeros?
Ahorita estamos. Okay, what are you doing right now? So, which places are there in your neighborhood? Ibon, the word is brickyard. 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 Nosotros lo buscamos en, la, en el traductor y, y no sé si será también así, brick word, algo así. Uh -huh. Brick word. Brick word. Like this one. Brick word. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, uh, it was brick yard. Uh, mm. Oh, brick okay. company. Brick company. Ah, uh, okay. The company okay. you can use, you can use it too. Any other question? No, teacher. No question. no question. Are you ready? Can you please tell me? You say there is. You can say there is a school, there is a park, there is a bank. Who wants to start? Nobody? The, me, teacher. Thank you. Tell me. The church is on Boulevard Constitution. Okay, the church is on Boulevard Constitution. Yes. Any other? Um, the park is in front of the neighborhood passage. The party is in front of. In front of. Neighborhood passage. Like this one, the park is in front of my neighborhood passage. Thank you. Any other? Any other answer? Is there a bakery in your neighborhood? Are you in a panaderia? No. What about a drugstore? Drugstore? Drug okay. Library? No, there isn't a library. In... No. Car wash? Uh, oh, a yes. car wash. There is a car wash. So you use this sentence, there is a car wash. There is a car wash. Any other place, a soccer field? Cancha de football? There is a church. There is a church, perfect, there is a church. Any other place? There is a school. There is a school. Any other place there? <laughs> No. Restaurant? There is a restaurant? A gas station. Oh, there is a gas station. Any other place? Elias in your neighborhood? Mm, una pupusería. Okay, there is a pupusería. Una pupusas restaurant? Mm -hmm. There is a church. There is a church. Mm -hmm. There is a cemetery. There is a cemetery or graveyard. Graveyard. Mm -hmm. There is a graveyard. Aren't you scared of the graveyard? No le da miedo ese lugar? No. No. Okay, so very good. So continue sharing. Continue sharing, please. What is in your neighborhood? ¿Qué más hay en su vecindario? There is mechanical workshop. Oh, there is a mechanical workshop. Excellent. 
See you in a minute with the rest of your classmates. Usar la par como. Ajá, la par. A la par estamos hablando que a la par de un extremo, digamos al este y al oeste. Sí, exacto, a la par. Uh -huh. Ok, eh, sí, que hoy sí no tuve tiempo para anotar. Hoy sí voy a salir mal. Ah, pero lo importante es practicar. Entonces sería, there, there is jean. De, practicamos otra vez. There is short. There are bar. Bar, eh, school. Uh -huh. La, la Laboratorio. Laboratorio. Lesson, gas station. Gas station. Solamente aparece ahí en la presentación. Ah, ya no está llamando. Sí, okay. Hello, hello, good evening. Hello. Pensaba que estaba viejo solas. <laughs> Finish. <laughs> tengo duda, tengo una duda. Tell me, La what is your doubt? ¿Qué significa? Zoom. Z O O. Ajá. Zoológico. No, solo este es O. S O. So, es ese o uh -huh. qué significa so, uh, así así yo pensé que significaba entonces entonces es then ah okay. teacher y cuando dicen tell me dígame dime dígame dime Okay. Sí, ter, y department store, ¿qué significa? Tienda de departamentos. Ah, esa es. ¿Any other question? No. No more questions. So, can you tell me which places are there in your neighborhood? Teacher, cuando, cuando vamos a, queremos utilizar on the corner of, aunque no estemos hablando de calles, ¿cómo, cómo sería en ese caso? Uh, can you tell me the sentence, please? And then you say, oh, it's on the corner. Si es en la casa, por ejemplo, do you say the television, it's on the corner. La televisión está en la esquina. Hasta ahí. Hasta ahí no utilizamos off, porque cuando decimos off, Ajá. es in the corner of, en la esquina de, y tenemos que mencionar ambas calles. Uh -huh. Pero mi pregunta es si ¿sí se puede utilizar para, para otras frases, para otras palabras que no sea como para dar dirección. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, podemos utilizar, pero sería hasta on the corner. The dog oh. is on the corner of the house, you can see. Está en la esquina de la ah, casa. Ah, entonces en ese caso, en ese caso, teacher, solamente cuando se refiere a dos calles, es que le pone el off. En ese contexto, sí, ¿verdad? Porque oh, sería oh. on the corner of, en la esquina de, and you mentioned the main strip and second avenue. So you mentioned the name of the strips. Las calles que forman la esquina. Pero si es en la casa, uh -huh. you can say in the corner of the house. Y in the corner of the yard. En la esquina del patio. So you can say that. Ah, uh, ok. Yeah. Ok, well, see you in a minute. You're doing a great job. Thank you for your question, Carla, Ana y Miriam. Ya lo sacaron. Hello. No, es el teacher, creo. 
Sí, no. exacto. Hola, hello. Did you finish? Yes, pensamos que nos había olvidado. <laughs> no, I was working with another group. Hello, hello. Welcome again. Welcome again to the class. Uh, do you have any question about preposition of place? Questions? How to use them? No. Uh, no question? Creo que sí. <laughs> yes, what is your question? Tell me. Do you have a question? ¿Cómo se dice tienda? Tienda, digamos, de, de la comunidad. You say grocery shop, grocery store, or shop. Just grocery. Shop. Grocery store. Una tienda donde puede abastecerse de granos, comidas. So you say grocery. Grocery store. Gros Thanks. Um, ¿En una plaza comercial? Mm. Like, for example. Um, donde hay, así como un, ahora hay muchas que, que han hecho plazas y hay como un bambán, bam, uh, una sala de belleza, una librería o lugares de comida. Como metrocentro, pero más reducido. You can use mall. 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 Ah, okay. Yes. Play commercial. <laughs> Play commercial. Excelente. Teacher, panadería donde hacen los panes es bakery. Y bakery. donde solo venden, y donde solo venden pan y no lo hacen ahí. Oh, also La. bakery, no problem. Igual. You can use both, bakery. Veterinary, teacher. Mm, veterinary. O, en, o animal pet. Pet shop, mm. sorry, pet shop. Animal pet shop. Yes, en el caso de que vendan animales, pero si solo clínica veterinaria, es veterinaria. Veterinaria, ok. Gracias. Thanks. Any other question? No question. No question. Ok, uh, don't forget about today's class because tomorrow we are going to use those expressions because tomorrow we are going to learn how to get direction. Como dar dirección. Tomorrow. On Monday. Oh, sorry. Tomorrow on Monday. On Friday. Monday. On Monday. Yes, you're right. Tomorrow is Friday. So, su fin de semana comienza desde, desde hoy. Tomorrow ¿no? is vacation. <laughs> yes, tomorrow is a day off. So, I'm going to see you on Monday. You're right. Thank you. Los voy a ver hasta el día lunes. ¿no? So, please, don't forget, um, continue working on the platform, platform exercises. Tomorrow, we don't have class. So, you can take advantage of that and spend that time working on the platform. El día de mañana no hay sesión virtual, ¿verdad? Pero usted puede aprovechar ese tiempo para avanzar en la plataforma. ¿De acuerdo? So, do it, please. It is yes. important, right? It is important that you finish your uh, platform. So, thank you very much for being here with me tonight. Thanks a lot. Uh, thank you for your punctuality, for your participation, for your attention. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, see you on Monday. Enjoy your weekend. And see you on Monday at 8 o'clock p.m. Bye bye. Happy weekend. Bye bye. Happy bye. weekend. Good Monday. Good bye. See you on Monday. Good night. See you on Monday. Si van a la playa, me traen un coco. Bye bye.